Get ready to take your portfolio to the next level as in today's video we are diving into the scroll portfolio widget by W Design Kit. This sleek tool will give your portfolio a modern and stunning look with each tab smoothly revealing itself while you scroll. Trust me, it's not only super simple but also a great way to add elegance and style to your showcase. So, ready to make your portfolio shine? For that, let's get started. The widget we will be using here is offered by W Design Kit. Speaking in terms of figures, it includes over 2000 pre-designed templates and 100 plus pre-built widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks, along with a cloud workspace and much more. We will discuss about more of its features in detail soon, so make sure you watch this video till the very end. Now let's start with the tutorial. Make sure you have installed Elementor. And we will also need W Design Kit, so come up here and click Add New Plugin. Then search for it. And here it is, W Design Kit. Simply click on Install Now. Then Activate. Moving ahead to Appearance. And here as you can notice, I am using Next a theme. However, feel free to use any other theme as per your preference. Now in order to use this plugin, we will need to make an account with W Design Kit. Simply come here and click on W Design Kit. Next, up here in the header section, click on Login. At the bottom here, it's written don't have an account. Click Sign Up. Now this web page will open up where it's visible that you can sign up with your socials or here after you fill all the details mentioned, simply click on this button. I already have an account so I'll simply click Sign In. And then I will click on Continue with Google. Once you're logged in, you will get to see this kind of interface. It's time to activate our widget, so come up here in the header section and click on Browse Widgets. Now search Scroll Portfolio. Here it is, Scroll Portfolio for Elementor. Now, as you can notice, it's a pro widget. So, that means if you want to download and make use of it, we will have to upgrade this W Design Kit plugin to its pro version. Let me guide you how to do it step by step. Simply go back to the plugin section and click on Upgrade Pro. Then here on clicking this W Design Kit logo, its pricing page will open up. Now, once you have reviewed all the plan's details and benefits, select the plan that suits your professional needs. After you've made a purchase, you will get the options to download the plugin as well as copy the Pro key from the checkout page only. In case you have skipped it, you can also get it from Posimith Store's dashboard. Simply head on to store.posimith.com slash dashboard. And here it is, our Pro W Design Kit's activation key. Now it's time to activate the upgraded version, so let's revert to the W Design Kit's website. Scroll up a bit, then hover over your PFP. Then go to Manage License and simply paste your key in this input field. That's done! Your subscription is now successfully activated. Let's get back to the WordPress backend and download the star widget of today's tutorial that is Scroll Portfolio by simply clicking on this download icon. Once that's done, also let's make sure it's downloaded by going into the My Widget section. Perfect! Now on opening the Elementor editor, here's the basic page design in which I have already imported the widget. If you want to do the same, simply come here in the Widgets panel and search Scroll Portfolio. Then drag and drop it inside the workspace. For now, let's just select the widget from the navigator and under the content tab in here, you will get to see the customization options. Let's now explore all the key options you need to know to get this scroll portfolio up and running. Upon opening the content dropdown, you will notice there are three sub options. The first one is labeled portfolio, which basically allows you to edit the slides within this portfolio. Just open the item box and here you will see all the text settings needed to customize the content. Simply replace the default text with your own sentences and it's done. Very simple. Also, these highlighted small texts in the design are known as tags. You can add as many as you like by writing them within this tags text input field. Next, we have three button customization options down here. Change the content within the button using button text. If you want to insert an icon within it, it can also be done simply like this. And after that, don't forget to add a URL here in order for your site visitors to get of course redirected to a specific site or web page. Moving ahead, let's now discuss about this full item link. Here's a little note below it which says if you enable this option, there will be only one link for the whole item. Hmm, 
What it basically means that if we turn on this toggle button, the entire slider will become clickable, redirecting users accordingly. Personally, I prefer to keep this option off for this design as there should be enough space for users to scroll freely. However, if your portfolio is in full screen, this feature could be ideal. Lastly, let's finish our first slide by adding a background image using this background image option. You can see how sleek and elegant it looks within the scroll portfolio. Now, it's the same editing process that applies to the remaining slides, so let's do that quickly. Once that's done, it's time to close content dropdown and open extra options. Here you will find these responsive screen scaling options using which you can control how much the slides should be zoomed out on scrolling down. All I will say is just fiddle around with these values to find that perfect settings that looks best for your WordPress site. Also there is a special option up here that says exclude last slide which basically lets you disable the zoom effect for the last slide. Let's turn on its toggle button and look for ourselves. Whoa, pretty interesting, right? Saying that, it's done. All the major options within this widget is covered. Our scroll portfolio is now ready to go online. That means it's time for me to go ahead, click on update and give you the final view. Now don't forget to explore other amazing features W Design Kit offers. It provides various design assets and resources to create amazing WordPress websites in a matter of minutes. With its 2000 plus page templates, sections and kits, you can import pre-made WordPress websites. It comes with its own power widget builder using which you can convert any custom code to Elementor widget, blocks or bricks elements. And not only that, as we shared earlier, it has its own 100 plus growing collection of pre-made widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and bricks. Using W Design Kit Page Builder Converter, you can convert your Elementor widget to Gutenberg blocks and even bricks elements. Amazing, right? Lastly, for all the power WordPress users who create multiple websites, W Design Kit also comes with its cloud workspace, where you can store your created widgets and page sections on the cloud and import on any other website, as well as collaborate with your team members. To be honest, you can say me delusional, but W Design Kit is the tool which can increase your productivity by 100%. It comes with both free and pro plan. You can check all the details from this pricing page and choose the plan which suits your need. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Now, if you are curious, be sure to check out our upcoming video where I will show you how you can give your side buttons a lively touch using the button border animation widget from W Design Kit's free plan. Also, before you go anywhere, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel with the bell icon turned on so that you don't miss any of such amazing videos we keep on adding inside our W Design Kit playlist every week. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning and stay creative.